the battle against the nation's deadly drug overdose crisis, a new tool could be coming down the pike. As ABC 7 News reporter Tara Campbell reports, it comes in the form of a vaccine. Well, we're at an exciting point is where we are. Dr. Colin Hale is talking about a potential fentanyl vaccine. He's leading a team of researchers at the University of Houston. We've built a vaccine that can immunize an individual against fentanyl. It works by generating antibodies against the powerful opiate, preventing it from entering the brain. If the drug does not get into the brain, there are no f effects. There are no euphoric effects and there are no lethal effects. Nearly 107,000 Americans died of a drug overdose in 2021. This according to new data from the CDC. 625 of those deaths were in San Francisco. We feel that this would work and it would have a dramatic effect on those that do have opioid use disorder and want to quit. I don't think it is yet time to celebrate. Dr. Keith Humphreys is a psychiatry professor at Stanford. When most people hear vaccine, they think you give it to a child and then protect it for life. And that's not what this is. This is a therapeutic vaccine. That means the vaccine would be used to treat people in recovery. But the doctor warns that's a lot easier said then done. Uh, the challenges are many. First off, remember, these are rats, so they didn't have a choice but to take the vaccine, but human beings do. But still, after five years of research and more testing to come, Dr. Hale is hopeful the vaccine will be approved by the FDA in the next four years. We still have a ways to go. Um, we're close, but it, every time I think about it, I get even more motivated. Tara Campbell, ABC 7 News.